The Grove City Greyhounds in the state baseball tournament for the first time in 10 years. They will face off against Mason Friday in the D1 semifinals in Akron. And Whitney Harding caught up with the team, learned how their small ball strategy has gleaned big time results. Within the family of Grove City baseball, being called a dirt bag isn't a dirty turn. From a young age, our kids at baseball camp want to be dirt bags. It's something that they have bought into. It's embracing a style of baseball that the Greyhounds have driven all the way to the state semifinals. Old school small ball. We don't really have that many big guys on our team, so we just kind of buy into bunting and stealing bases, and we practice that every practice. And in an age where in the majors it's all about the home run, Ryan Alexander and his staff actually haven't had a hard time getting these guys excited about that strategy. In fact, the Greyhounds enjoy getting under other teams' skin. I think it's fun when the other teams see us bunt like three times in a row. They they always get mad at that. You see a bunch of teams doing stuff that they've never done before, and like it's really frantic at times. And that's probably one of our favorite times is after a big big air or something happens from the other team from like a bunt or something. It's really a momentum swing for us. To be successful in this style, the Greyhounds have to play as a cohesive unit, which is why this year's seniors have been leading the team with one word, Mudita, a word from Sanskrit that Coach Alexander introduced to the team. Finding a joy in other successes and truly believing in all your teammates. And I think that's why we've been so good this year. Just We're just playing as one team. Mudita and Dirtbag. Mudita Dirtbags, for sure. The Greyhounds will take on Mason Friday at 1 o'clock in Akron, and they're still having to make adjustments this week going into the state tournament. Weather outside has moved them inside for some practices. They've also brought in some former players Players who now pitch in college to get the guys even more prepared for the competition they're going to see. Local for you, Whitney Harding, NBC4.